friends and welcome back to Fallout 2. In yesterday's video, we did interact quite a bit with the Wright family and I managed to not kill them all, <laughs> which is great because I'm currently on a quest to figure out how their son Richard died from a jet overdose because it couldn't possibly have been because he was a jet user and he just OD'd. There has to be some other conspiracy afoot. And we ended our day yesterday talking to Jagged Jimmy J and we're friends now, I guess. So I want to follow up with him some more and see if he knows more about this Richard situation. So he says, I knew you'd be back, knew it. Didn't Jagged Jimmy J say that it would be that way? Keep him happy and they'll never let you down. So my pilot friend, what can Jagged Jimmy Day J do for you today? Okay, we already asked about his scar. Oh, let's ask about where he gets his jet. Glad you asked, my pilot friend. Glad you asked. See, all them other dealers, right? They get their shit secondhand, watered down, diluted with all sorts of shit. But your jet, on the other hand... Me, I got ties to the creator, my pilot friend. I get my jet straight from the Brainiac, the living god of chem and compounds, Myron. Myron? Who's Myron? <laughs> He's family Morgino's golden boy. He made jet. Buying from Jagged Jimmy J is like buying from Myron himself, you hear? That's why JJ got the pure jet, the best jet. Okay, interesting. Think I can meet this Myron? I mean, I already have. Hell no, the Mordino's got that boy locked up tighter than a new Reno virgin. <laughs> no way they gonna let anybody gonna, no way they gonna let anybody gonna touch their livelihood. Know what I'm saying? I hear you. So how much security they got on this guy? Except that I hear Myron has a lot of prostitute friends. How does that happen if he's locked up so tight? Huh, let's try that one. Now that's a whole different story, my pilot friend. Oh my, yes. I think this is a story I want to hear. Come on, Jimmy. See, Myron is well taken care of. Mordinos give their little livelihood the best of New Reno. And by that, you mean what? <laughs> you mean prostitutes, don't you? Out of idle curiosity, where did the Mordinos get their prostitutes and how are they chosen? Oh, I see. You could go and probably pretend to be a prostitute to go and meet Myron, right? Well, let's play dumb. And by that, you mean what? The Mardinos deliver whores to the stables personally, then escort them out again. <laughs> Myron's barely 19. He's got the hormones of 20. 20 men, that is. Um, and and where, where do they get their prostitutes and how are they selected? Because <laughs> I just need to know for science, of course. Shrugs. One of the Mardinos boys cruises the cat's paw down the street. I hear picks. Uh, I hear picks one Myron might like from Miss Kitty's stock. Jimmy suddenly stops talking. He squints at you and frowns. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Why you want to know shit like that? Pauses and smiles and looks you up and down. Ah, oh, now I catch your drift. You gonna go straight to the source for your jet, right, sister? Not the moment. Um, I might say. Other questions? <laughs> okay. Let's see. You said before your jet was the safest. There isn't any bad jet floating around, is there? Hell, all I'm saying is Jimmy likes his buyers happy and alive. Draw your own conclusions, my pilot friend. Is breathing more important to you than sh shaving a few chips off your net next jet purchase? Um, oh, know anything about this empty jet canister? You've discovered that Richard Wright was poisoned. Takes canister, studies it. Now I sniffs nozzle, then frowns. She it. This jet's got rad scorpion juice in it. Whoever was sucking on this ain't long for this world. Hands canister back. It's poisoned. Hell yes, gotta be careful in this town with shit like that being passed around. That's why Jimmy always says, yeah, any idea where this might've come from? Now I don't, look now, don't be spreading the word that's mine if I were you. I'd ask Jules and Renesco about it, but you didn't hear that from me, right? Um, that's fine. R Renesco and Jules, huh? I'll ask them about it. Thanks for the tip. All right, let's talk to him again. So there was this option about... Right, here we go. You know who gave that right kid the jet that killed him? Um, yeah, same same starter conversation as the last time. Ah, so now it comes out, does it? You want to know if old Jimmy got something to do with that, huh? No, I was just ask... 
fuck you. I sell clean shit. You want to know who poisoned that right kid? You go ask that old fool Renesco or that weasel Jules and you see what they say. Okay, okay, calm down. You listen and you listen good. If I hear you were talking shit about me having anything to do with that right kid's death, I'll make sure you have a grave in Golgotha right next to him. Hmm. Dead, huh? Like Richard? Let's try it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> He didn't like that option. Oh man, I gotta, okay, let me reload and, and get through all this conversation to get back to where I, I needed to be. All right, so I am back to where I left off and made the wrong decision. <laughs> so this time I'm just gonna say, easy Jimmy, nobody's going to be talking. There we go, all done, so let's save. So I don't have to do all that all over again. Okay, so I needed to go talk to Jules, who was in 2nd Street, not 2nd Street, Virgin Street. 2nd Street is where I just was. And Jules is down here, right? This is Jules, I think. Yes. Hello, Jules. Hey, 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 welcome back. What is it that you need from Jules, my friend? You know what happened to Mr. Wright's son? I had some questions. Let's see. No, nothing there. I want to get laid. No, we're good. We're we're good. We just hung out with Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Bishop. <laughs> they killed all the bishops. Okay, so do you know what happened to Mr. Wright's son, Jules? Uh, right, kid? Yeah, I heard about that. Damn shame. Kids his age shouldn't be doing chems. They got so much to live for without being given impure shit. Oh, really? What do you mean, impure shit? Shrugs. Some dealers don't care what they sell and people die. Now, I ain't saying anything, but I'd check with old Renesco the Rocket Man and see how good his shit is. Reno's a big place, Jules. Anybody else who might be responsible? A lot of dealers in town. Little Hastings Mordino, maybe. But why he would sell to a right don't make sense. There's Jagged Jimmy J up on 2nd Street north of here, but he's small time. I'd still check with Renesco, though. Jagged Jimmy J. Who's that? He's this dumb son of a bitch who thinks he's a big time dealer. You can't miss him. His face is all scarred up. The fool was flying on jet one night and tried to shave with a combat knife. Sad part of it is it didn't kill him. Oh, you mean he didn't save a woman who was being attacked? And little Jesus Mordino, where can I find him? He's dead. Well, friend, I'd be careful about just walking in and accusing little Jesus of anything. But if you really want to talk with him, I ain't going to stop you. He hangs out at the Desperado across the street. Um, little Jesus, Jagged Jimmy J, Renesco, got it, thanks. I wanted to ask about the canister. Hmm, do you know anything about this empty jet canister? Glances at it, like a hundred other things I've seen. It ain't mine, though it could be Jagged Jimmy J's or Renesco. Okay. Can we trade? I feel like he, he's a dealer. But, oh, he has stim packs. Great. What can I trade? What can I get rid of? Hmm. Uh, okay, let me let me take a minute to trade with jewels for some some stim packs, and I'll be right back. Okay, we traded a little bit, but let's try to find my way. Actually, let me save so I don't have to do all that again. Let me find my way up to the far the pharmacist. In quotes. <laughs> Was he over the porn studio? Where was the pharmacist? Was he over on the west side, maybe? I think he was. So how do I, there we go. We get over there this way. Here's Renesco's pharmacy. I wanna see what he has in stock to see if I can offload some of my junk <laughs> for for hopefully some stim packs or something. Oh, he has some, he has a bunch of stim packs and he has some money. Okay, I'm gonna vendor for, well, a while probably, let's be honest. All right, I am finally done <laughs> clearing out my bags and my friend's bags of nearly everything. I do have quite a lot of stim packs and a lot of Rad X right away now, but, but we're a lot lighter and now I have more room for all kinds of shiny new items. But anyway, let's talk to Renesco here. Okay, well, out with it already. Did you sell Jet to Richard Wright? 
Don't you even try and pin that accusation on me. You want to know who did it? Ask Tweedledum and Tweedledumber if they're still selling jet lace with arsenic. Tweedledum and Tweedledumber, who's that? That vulture Jules and that lying reprobate, jagged Jimmy Jules is always perched near the entrance to town looking for ignorant visitors to victimize. <laughs> and you're not. <laughs> and jagged Jimmy deals on 2nd Street to the rest of the Reno cattle. They said to ask you. They said you sell bad shit. Shit that kills people. Ooh, let's try it. Look, primate. You don't even know what you're blabbing, babbling about. Oh, I think I... Yeah, well then why don't I? Never mind, I had some other... What's the first one? Open your mouth again and even whisper, even a hint, reaches Mr. Wright that I or you might have had anything to do that boy's... Hang on a second. Open your mouth again, and even a whisper, even a hint, reaches Mr. Wright that I or you might have had anything to do that boy's OD. We're missing a word here with that boy's OD. Our lives ain't worth Brahmin shit if that happens. Me. Now, hang on just a second. If that happens, you tribal shit. I swear, you'll die before I do. Now, for the last time, that kid never bought shit from me, understand? Don't you ever say his name in here again, or so help me. Jules says he didn't sell the sell to the kid. Jimmy says he didn't sell to the kid. You say you didn't sell to him. Either you all are lying or somebody else is responsible. Hmm. Can you tell me anything else about Richard Wright? Who did he hang around with? Who might who might have used drugs? Let's try that one. You stupid bitch. I told you not to say his name in here. Get out. I see you again. I'll shoot you dead. If Mr. Wright comes looking for me, thinks I killed this, thinks I killed this boy, you'll die first. Okay, okay. I feel like I messed all that up. So let's reload. Thankfully, I saved after all my trading. Okay. Um, do you ever sell to Richard Wright? Okay, so can you tell me anything about this empty jet canister? It's empty. It's a jet canister like the hundreds of others all over New Reno. Anything else it can help you with? Does this belong to you? Know anything about the red scorpion venom traces that are in this canister? Let's try that. Red scorpion. Renesco suddenly freezes as if remembering something. You son of a bitch. You poisoned that kid, didn't you? You know something about it, don't you? Uh, let's try the second one. Whoa. Now wait just a minute. Don't mess with me, Renesco. You try and weasel out of this one and you'll be joining Richard, understand? That's it, Miss, me and Mr. Wright are gonna have a little talk. Good day, Renesco. Good day, or should I say goodbye? No, first one. Wait a minute, look, I didn't sell it to the kid. He never bought anything from me. I was asked to make some jet lace with red scorpion venom, but, but I didn't sell it to the kid. You were asked to poison jet for who? You have exposed Renesco's involvement in Richard Wright's death. You gain a thousand experience points. Well, I'm glad I traded a whole bunch because I feel like he's not long for this world. The Salvators requested it. They said it was a special order. I didn't know they were going to give it to the Wright kid. You have to believe me. I don't poison kids, but you were okay poisoning somebody else. Just still Tom Renesco, you sorry son of a bitch. Why did you poison the jet? You had to know they were going to kill someone with it. All right, all right, I believe you. Just shut up. Look, I had some other questions. The Salvatores, huh? I think Mr. Wright will want to know about this. Why? Yeah, why did you do it? The Salvatores own me. They own this place. And when they want something, I give it to them. Or they kill me and have me replaced. I never meant any harm to that boy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you had the best of intentions while you were spiking that jet with poison. All right, all right, I believe you. Um... Okay, bye. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Do I still have my quest? I do. So we found out that the Salvators were now dead. <laughs> poisoned. Or wanted him poisoned, but why? Can you, can you guys like move out of the way? I know like you were all like being very helpful to me, but like I, I need some space now, please. Let's go to the arms dealer and see if he has, where is he at? There he is. Arms dealer, see if he has any shotgun shells. Because we're running, or I'm running low. Cassidy's running low. Okay, let's trade. I feel like he didn't sell ammo. I feel like he only sold 
guns. Yeah, you did only sell the guns. That's not really what I wanted. Okay, nothing today, thanks. All right, so I'm gonna go by the church and see if Mrs. Wright is over here. Drank too much of that blood of Christ, hurl. <laughs> He's passed out on the ground. Um, okay, well, she's not back yet. Oh, bless you, my blech. Um, all right, let's save. And then let's rest until morning, 8 a.m. We'll get some hit points back at least very, very slowly. Hmm. I don't see Mrs. Wright here. Greetings, my son. What's father can do for you is on this fine day. Hmm. Oh, is this her right here? Yes, it's Mrs. Wright. You see Mrs. Wright, she looks crushed. Uh. Ethel, are you okay? Uh, let's actually, let me, let me see if I can save. It may be too late, but let's try it. Ethel, are you okay? All true. Everything you said was true. The still was not dismantled. Not at all. I trusted that man, but alcohol made him lie to me. Lie to his own wife. Let her vent. Oh yes, Ethel. Further proof of the evil of alcohol. It can make people do terrible things, especially when the twin devils of money and power are involved. No, let's just let her vent. I will make him keep his promise. Keep the promise he made me if I have to destroy that still with my own hands. Then Orville and I shall have words. We'll see what that little weasel says then. Now let me handle it. It's beneath the train station, right? I'll take care of it. Can I trade yet with her? No. No, oh, maybe I can do it for her. You'll destroy it? I will. All right. Tear it down. Wreck it. Leave nothing. All right. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. But now I don't want you to hurt any of my children. No waving guns. They're not bad children. They've just been misled. I have to see what I can do to change that. Oh, okay, don't worry. There'll be, oops, sorry, I didn't, I didn't update my screen by moving my cursor. Okay, don't worry, there'll be no casualties. I'll be back when I'm done. I have some other things to take care of first. I can't promise that. Maybe you should get someone else. To, I mean, I can try. But I got some other things to do first, but I'll work on it. Do I, do I have a quest now to destroy the still? No, that's not where I need to go. Bust upright still beneath the train station. Uh, well, we'll do that later. <laughs> I kind of want to like do that last because I feel like I'm going to be so bad at it that um, they're all just going to turn on me and try to kill me. Well, let's go turn in this quest to Mr. Wright and then see and then see what I can do next. Okay, he's down. No, he's down here. Down here. All right, let's say before we go in here. Can we just go in or do we need to talk to Keith first? Nope, we can just go in. Hello, Mr. Wright. You again, you find out who killed my boy? Oh, it was Jules the dealer. Jimmy, Jag and Jimmy J, the old geezer Renesco, little Jesus Mordino. No, your son didn't die of an overdose. He was poisoned. What, poisoned? What in the hell's name are you talking about? I found this jet canister that Richard used, or was used on Richard. <laughs> there were traces of rad scorpion venom in the cartridge. He was poisoned with rad scorpion venom. The jet overdose was just cover for the poison. Uh, let's go with that one. Assuming I believe this for a second, and I ain't saying I am, then who poisoned my son, and why did they go to the trouble of dosing him with jet? Word is it... Word is it was the Salvatores. They pumped him with jet, laced with red scorpion venom, then left him for you to fight. I don't know which of the Salvatores did it. Renesco doctored up some jet for them, not knowing they'd use it for poison on your son. Oh, let's try the first one. See if I can leave Renesco out of it. Now, why the hell would they do that? 
The way I see it, the Mordinos control the jet in Reno. Naturally, oh yeah, start start a gang war. Naturally, you blame them for a chem overdose, and then there'd be war. If you two didn't wipe each other out, you'd at least be weakened by the fight. That makes life easier for the Salvators. All they have to worry about then is the bishops. I don't know, maybe you should ask them. They're all dead. Ooh, I've gained a level. You've correctly identified who killed Richard Wright and the motive. You've gone up a level that has gained some abilities. Great. Stares at you for a long time, then a dry chuckle escapes his lip. You gave me an answer, and I can't do nothing about it. Salvatore's goddamn it takes a deep breath. You can't do anything about it. What do you mean? Know what those Salvatore bastards are armed with, friend? Those damned light bringers. One Salvatore's one Salvatore pack in that kind of heat can kill my whole family without batting an eye. To beat that, I need. Uh, don't worry about it. I kick the shins from underneath the Salvatores already. They're already dead. Ha! The ones in Reno, maybe. But you got a lot to learn about families. There's still Salvatores kicking around beyond Reno. Oh man, really? And even if there's just one left, that's trouble to, that's trouble. To beat them, I need, what, do you, what would you need? What can, I, what can I do? Well, now before I get into specifics, let's settle accounts first. Here's a little cash for your trouble, plus some ammo liquor from my private stock and another job for you if you're interested. Oh, I'm interested. I like jobs. It so happens not long ago, I came across a map that shows an old army base in the mountains not far from here. You find a way in there and I'll see that you're taken care of. Why should I go? Don't, didn't you send somebody already? I can ask. Mr. Wright's expression tightens for a moment, then he snorts. Heh, <laughs> not exactly. The fellas I got that map from are dead. They were a tough bunch, but they all got wiped out trying to get inside that base. They didn't even get inside? Yeah, the only survivor said shortly before his unfortunate death said that there were some kind of super gun turrets guarding the entrance, wiped out most of his boys. Um, what happened to the survivor? <laughs> oh, old Sam Pritchard, sad story. Got drunk one night, mentioned to my boy Keith he'd found this base, and before you know it, he draws me a map and dies. He's sleeping in Golgotha now. Seems like Reno is filled with sad stories these days. I'll take the job. You know, it's stories like that that make me realize I can't take this job. No, I'll, I'll take the job. <laughs> Nods and smiles. All right, then. Come back when you found a way in, and I'll see you're well rewarded. Now, as for the location of the base, head north then gives you the coordinates for the army base. All right, I'll go check it out. When I find a way inside, I'll be back. Still can't barter. <laughs> An army base with gun turrets. Yeah, that sounds extremely dangerous. Okay, find a way into the Sierra army base, but it might have like power armor or like shiny guns for me to, to mess around with. I, I would like all those things, please. Okay, oh, I don't get, I really want some more action boys, but I got some more points I could spend. Um, hmm. I could up my science some more, maybe. My speech, my traps, perhaps. Because there seem to be lots of traps that I'm not noticing, but I'll, I'll leave it for here as of right now. So let's save. I kind of want to do this still, but at the same time, I want to hold off in case that makes everybody angry. But let's go to my map. Where did I leave my car at? That's my question. Can I exit the map from anywhere here? Nope. Maybe down here? No. Was my car in the front? No, I think my car was actually on... Where is my car? <laughs> I think it's over by... Is it over here, I think? Over by the church or something? Not down here, is it? No. It's in New Reno somewhere. Where, oh, where could my car be? Yeah, here's my car. Okay. I'm gonna put some stuff in the trunk. Is what I really wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the trunk. And then I think I can put my badge in the trunk. 
And then while citizen papers, I think I put that in the trunk. And let's put three of these in the trunk. I don't know if I need it for any reason, but I have it just in case. Uh, let's put the plated boxing gloves in the trunk. I'll come back and do all that later, I think. I don't think I need the empty jet canister. I don't need any booze at all. Um, I think that's good for now. Okay, so let's save. I want to see my options and where I can go because I don't actually know where I want to go next. Broken Hills, the Den. Oh, the Sierra Army Depot is very close. San Francisco. I've only got three more places left to discover, it looks like. Let's go to the Sierra Army Depot since it's so close. I I don't have very much faith in my abilities to survive gun turrets, but you never know. Good thing I checked my weapons before I came here. I should check you guys' health. And then... 91 of 104. Okay, that's better. Let's see about... What you be needing? Heal yourself. We'll do. Heal yourself. I need we'll to heal do. myself. <laughs> um, I keep looking at the carry weight. No, you need to heal yourself a bunch more. I don't know why we went to trade. One. We'll do. Two. We'll do. Three. We'll do. Um, let's do it a couple more times. We, di we didn't want to be a little girl. <laughs> okay. And then how is Vic? Vic's fine. I need it to be healed. Can I heal myself with a first aid kit? That would be excellent. You've taxed my ability with that skill. Okay, great. Well, then I guess I have to just um, use Stimpex. Well, not really what I wanted to do, but it would take longer to go to like the doctor than anything else. Okay. Let's see how this is gonna go. <laughs> oh my goodness, there are all these dead bodies. Let's um reload. Let's actually go into this fight prepared. Because I see a, a gun right here. Can I talk to the turret? Okay, it's 75 hit points. So that's not terrible. A dead tough guard? Melee guard? Who looted all your bodies? There's a car, there's a, a person underneath the car. Okay, where was the gun at? Oh, is the gun right here? Oh my. I am out of range. Turret missed me at least. So look, you're very much missing. You didn't miss me that time. Ooh, we may have to come back, but let's try it. I'm still out of range. Okay, it's set. Oh, the gun's right here. I missed. <laughs> um, you got minus 18 points. You have died. 
Your village is lost. Okay, well, um, that's not going to end well for me, so maybe we should come back to uh, here when I've got some better, better, better everything. Uh, I'm not really sure where I want to go next, but I'm going to investigate that, and, and you'll find out on Sunday, because I'm going to pause here today. So, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Sunday with another new Fallout 2 video.